A 17 year old is recovering from a graze wound, we're told, after being shot at Dunbar High School. Good evening, I'm Michelle Marsh. And I'm Scott Thuman. Here is part of that scene. Now, when it was all over, we spotted evidence markers up to 25, even higher on the street. Dunbar High School's windows were also riddled with bullet holes. Our Tom Rousey is live in D.C. tonight. He's got the story and the latest from there. Tom. Yeah, Scott, Michelle, I counted at least seven bullets that went into Dunbar High School. One of the most affected windows is right there. And within the last several minutes, a crew has arrived. They're going to do something about that in the near future here, I am told. Now, where did all these bullets come from? Well, they came from a shootout that happened down this way. This is Kirby Street Northwest. Unbelievable number of bullets that were fired, and you're going to hear them coming up right now. Police say the shootout happened on Kirby Street with some of the bullets flying through the Dunbar High windows. A 17 year old girl was grazed. Police say she will be OK. It's frustrating because you send your kids to school thinking they're OK and then this happens. Worried parents picked up their children after Dunbar High let out early. My child was actually in the classroom when the um, bullet um, shattered through the glass. This man who asked us not to identify him says he was told to come pick his daughter up only to not be able to get her for a long time. As a parent, it's just like, okay, she just went through this whole uh, mayhem situation inside a room, a classroom, saw someone drop, and then you're still holding her against her will or my will to be able to get my child to safety. The communication wasn't really good. They was telling us that we could call parents so they could come and get us. Then once we called our parents, our parents, they had to wait all over there for another hour, hour and a half, so it's just chaotic. It was very terrifying, but you know it's America, so we gotta get used to it, you know? This stuff in all the time at schools. How sad is that? Very sad. One nearby resident tells us teens always hang out in a nearby alley. He shared this video of them running down that alley with several of them appearing to have guns before the shooting happened. He said they had posted lookouts in the morning and appeared to be waiting for the car that came the wrong way down the street and was involved in the shootout. It appears at least one bullet went into the school on the third floor, another on the second floor and then a lot more on the ground floor there. So just some terrifying moments for students and then also for parents when they found out what happened out here. As far as the suspects, there's no word of any arrests at this point. I can tell you the school did send home a letter to the school community. Reporting live in Northwest DC outside Dunbar High School, I'm Tom Rousey, 7 News.